What's going on, Ghost Why? This is Trey with Ghost Tactical uh, for another edition of Range Time with Ghost. Guys, uh, a couple of videos ago, I did a, uh, a drill of the month with my uh, pistol caliber carbine, my Beretta CX4 Storm. And uh, the other night on Tactical Tuesday, I brought up pistol caliber carbines as well. The reason why I'm doing that is, is they're actually becoming more and more popular uh, in the gun community for, uh, you know, competitive shooting. They actually were having some PCC uh, divisions, um, but also for home defense. So I thought what I would do is I've actually had some people over the last couple of videos that I've had uh, email me and comment uh, wanting to know more about uh, the Beretta CX-4. So I thought what I'd do is I would combine a quick review on this. I'm not going to go too far in depth with it. So I'm going to do a quick review, and then we're going to go straight into our drill. So um, the drill today is going to be a home defense drill with a, a rifle. It doesn't have to be a pistol caliber carbine. If you're going to use an AR or a, you know, a shotgun or whatever, it's going to be a home defense drill that's going to allow you to work with uh, rifles instead of pistols. Now, obviously, you can do any drill with a pistol if you want, but we're going to go ahead and do it today with a rifle. So basically, to get into the Beretta CX-4 Storm, which is uh, a really, really fun gun to shoot, uh, it's a very versatile gun. Uh, we can get into it. It is a Beretta. Uh, obviously, it's called the Beretta CX-4 Storm, but it is made by Beretta. Uh, the magazine, this is a 9mm version. It does come in 40 and in 45. So you can get in any of the three calibers. Uh, I choose 9mm because I love a 9mm round. Um, and two, it's what most of my pistols are for home defense. That being said, it's, it's a lot more convenient and a lot easier to uh, have interchangeable ammo for home defense. If you're gonna be using primarily nine millimeter rounds for your home defense pistols, then if you choose to go to a pistol caliber carbine, it would also be smart and nice to go to a nine millimeter carbine so you can use ammo. It's a lot cheaper to buy and to uh, stockpile one type and one size of ammunition for home defense. So all you gotta do is go out and buy a bunch of nine millimeter. Now you've got it for your pistol and for your carbine. If you choose to use 40, if you choose to use a 45 for home defense, that's up to you. But if you do, then you might wanna look into getting a 40 or a 45 pistol caliber carbine. Once again, it's easier to share to share rounds. All right, so the CX-4, it's a, it's a, it's a nice, nice gun uh the great thing about this is that it is an ambidextrous gun okay uh the charging handle you can move to either side of your right-handed or left-handed the ejection port if you're a left-handed shooter all you would have to do is remove this move it over to this side and now you have the ejection port for a left-handed shooter on this side the um the mag release button is on both sides of the weapon. So you can do that. The safety is on each side of the weapon. Okay, so you've got a way. The only thing that is not gonna be an ambidextrous is the bolt release. That's gonna be on this side no matter what. There isn't a way to move it over. All right, so. Um, that's the only thing that's going to be on this side, no matter what is the bolt release lever. So, uh, other than that, guys, it does come with, uh, polymer rail up top. Uh, I chose to put a cheap little green dot side on mine, uh, just because, uh, don't really need it a whole lot, but I had it lying around. I figured what the hell, let's put go ahead and put it on this. Um, it does come with one set of side rails that comes with screws. There are options to have it on both sides. It comes standard with one should you choose to attach a side rail for a, a light or a laser or whatever you want to use. Um, you can buy aftermarket the second set of rails if you want. Uh, you also have the opportunity through uh, aftermarket stuff is a uh, lower rail system. So if you wanted to attach a foregrip or something on the bottom there is uh an aftermarket 
uh, lower rail system as well. So it's, it's very customizable for such a small gun. It is a 16, 16 inch barrel, um, but it's very, very lightweight. It is uh, very compact and it is an awesome, awesome gun. Uh, as are most of your pistol caliber carbines, but this one is probably my favorite. Um, but uh, it's a very versatile gun. Um, like I said, it can go for right-handed or left-handed shooters. So that's what makes it really cool also, is it's very easy to uh, interchange these parts and, and, and make it what you need it to make it. So that is the quick review of the uh, Beretta CX-4. Like I said, if you have any questions or anything uh, that you actually want to know specifically, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Or you can email me at uh, live at ghosttactical.us. You can email me at that email address and I'll answer anything you want to know. But uh, what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go ahead and go through our drill. So uh, let's get our eyes and ears on and we'll see you out there on the range. All right, guys, so uh, we've got our eyes, got my ears here just for a second. I'll put them on before we start shooting. But what the scenario is going to be is these are going to be our two cover areas, okay? They're going to be walls necessarily in, in a house. So just assume that there are walls that we're going to be behind cover. Our uh, assailant and our, and our target is going to be right over here. We're talking 20, 25 feet, which is a, a kind of a, a normal distance for home defense. All right, so we're gonna talk about 25 feet away. We have two positions of cover, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start out at position one over here, okay? And what we're gonna talk about, guys, you don't wanna stay in the same place too long. One, you're giving the enemy a chance to know where you are, and two, they can come up to you while you're having to worry about family members or other things. So you wanna be moving, you want to also be changing the elevation of fire, okay? And what that means is if you're going to take two or three shots from position one, then you're going to get behind cover again. When you come back out, you don't want to be in the same spot. They know where you are. So sometimes if you can't move right away, the best scenario is to drop to a knee. If for no other reason, at least you're changing the elevation and the sight elevation for your enemy to you, okay? So you're worried about that. Then, so we're gonna take three rounds standing, get behind cover, okay? Three rounds from one knee to target. At that point, we're gonna to try to move from position one to position two, okay? We're gonna use a scenario is, is if we're in one part of the house, and we've gotta to get to another part, and we have to cross this open air, uh, open doorway where the intruders are. So we have to get from point A to point B, okay? And we're gonna do a reload. Remember, when you're reloading a magazine, you never wanna reload in the open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take three standing, three from the knee, and then at that point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reload from behind cover, stand up, position two or B, whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna do the same thing. Three shots standing, three shots from the knee. So it'd be six shots over here with a, then a reload. So we need two magazines of six rounds per. So let's get our ears on and let's get shooting. All right, guys, I hope this drill helped you in a little way of learning how to move from point A to point B while engaging an intruder or a target inside your home. Sometimes you're gonna have to get from point A to point B without being seen or without being hit. And sometimes changing the elevation of your firing does not allow them to get targeted in on you. So you had to change and then move. Just move quickly from point A to point B Make sure you're standing behind cover again and then get more rounds down range, okay? Guys, I want to uh, thank everybody for watching. 
uh, my videos and my shows and everything that Ghost Tactical is doing. I greatly appreciate all the support. Uh, if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down below. We appreciate all the engagement. Please comment, like, and share all the stuff, all that good stuff. I appreciate you. If you're interested in, in supporting the channel a little bit more, we've got some awesome things coming. We're going to Tulsa next month, and we're going to go to a couple more gun shows and a couple more uh, IDPA matches. We're going to film those. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, uh, we would love your support. Every, every dollar helps, so I appreciate all your support that way. Uh, you can find me on patreon.com backslash ghost tactical. So guys, uh, thank you again for tuning in. Until next time, Semper Fi. Hey guys, Ghost here. Thanks again for watching this video. Remember, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Until next time, happy shooting.